today we're going to go over um, opportunity checklists. So there's a couple ways you can do this. Um, I know not everybody is privy with commands, full functionality, so on and so forth. So I get that. Um, so I wanted to give you the opportunity of no matter which way you do it, that you have this list and that you can work from it just to make your lives easier. Um, so I have the, oh goodness, it's white. It's not gonna, that's what I get for having a background. I will email you all this um, list. It's on the Facebook page too. It is like extremely extensive, like so detailed. Some of this stuff may not apply, um, but it will give you a great foundation to start from or build from or double check what you already have. Um, so I wanted to share that with everyone and I don't have a pen in here to write everybody's names down. So let me print the screen real quick. But, um, yeah, so if you want to start using um, command for your opportunity checklists, I'm going to show you how to load those um, in there. And then a cool feature that command has is um, client updates. So basically it will automatically send your clients the update as it goes. Like as you check off that, op that checklist, it will update your client however often you want it to, um, you get to choose. So we'll go ahead and get started here. For this portion of it, I am gonna show you in command. Um, so you're going to log in as always, agent.kw.com, um, log in with your username and password, and in Google, Google works best, Google Chrome works best with command, um, then you're going to go right into your opportunities, which is the handshake applet here on the left hand side, it's about in the middle. And for me, the easiest way I have found to create this list is to do it in an actual opportunity, but it does filter over to every single opportunity. So once you set it up once, it stays there. So even if you're in Cultivate, it doesn't matter what stage you're in, as long as there's an opportunity, um, you can edit the checklist. And like I said, it will, um, it will, you will be able to use this for multiple people. So what I've done is I'm in my pipeline. I'm just going to click on the one of the stages. It doesn't matter. Just an actual opportunity that you have in order to get to the checklist. So right up here in the right corner, right below your name is the checklist itself. And then you have client updates, which this is how you set it to auto email your clients on the, how far you've got in their opportunity. So. I'm going to start with the checklist first. So I just click on it. Um, so this will start in whatever stage that you are in right now. Um, but if you move this over, um, give me one second here. Sorry. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> we we're having some technical difficulties. So, okay, so um, we're in an opportunity. You have to be physically in an opportunity um, to edit this. This is the only way I've been able to find how to do that. Um, if you know of a roundabout way, I checked the opportunity settings and I didn't see it in there. So I'm guessing um, that's where you have to start from. Uh, but you can even create a fake opportunity and then archive it later if you don't have any opportunities yet. So whatever works best for you. Um, but you will be able to see it in each opportunity. It's not specific to that one. Um, but like I said, if no, 
depending on what stage your opportunity is, if you have one active right now is where it will start. So if you use the, but the arrows over here, um, so watch and cultivate is the first. And the nice thing about the checklist that I'm going to send you is it is broke down into the cultivate phase and each stage. So like the first one is the cultivate phase and it will have you, it has the cultivate stage, then it's got the nurture, then it has the hot. So the cultivate, this one would be watch. So that's watch stage, there's nurture stage, and then there's hot stage. So it goes down to each one, which is super nice. So what you do is, so I'm in the very first, this would be consider cultivate watch state, cultivate phase watch stage. You can click add item, and then you just add what's in there. So obtain email address and add it to command. You can set a due date for this if you want to. Um, so I hit save. And there it is. Um, you can turn on to hide it once it's completed if you want to. And then if you wanna set a due date and down to time, you can. Um, so you can choose whatever date, whichever time you want and click okay. Yeah, question here. Here. On opportunities page, do you open that? Okay, um, yeah, let me sh I'll show you here in just a second, Jeff. Um, so you're gonna go ahead and add your information, obtain phone number. I mean, some of these you may or may not have already done if you want to. Um, so then you can just mark them off as they're done. So say we're gonna close it. It will, um, and it'll save it in there for you. So you'll be able to go through and check those off as you go. The reason why it shows zero out of zero is because this, what phase it's in, it's not in cultivate. It's, I think it's an appointment. So let me get to an appointment. And let's see under appointment, send pre-listing guide. And I'm gonna send you this super extensive list um, that's in here. No, I don't know what phase it is. it's in. Listing, yeah, it's in appointments. So, but you can completely customize, like this one has been in there for a while, the active under active phase, um, the staging stage, I know that's confusing. So it'll add in there for you and you just check them off as you go. And then what happens for the client updates in here, you can click on the client updates and you can send daily emails. You can choose what time and you can send it from the owner. I would venture to say that if this is a team, you can choose who it comes through. My set not set up for team though. And then you can check who you wanna send it to. So this would be good if you have like a referral agent that wants to stay up to date on this information. You could probably add their contact information with their email. I would venture to say this needs to be in, um, in your contacts. So, but this would be a good way to make it easier, streamlined for you to make sure everybody who needs to know what's happening with this transaction knows and it's automated so it's going to let them know every morning at or every day at 7 p.m based on how this is set up but you can change that um, what's going on with their transaction so you can also um so let's do a preview of what it'll look like so it'll send this pretty email and then the the items of the checklist will be right here. Um, it'll be more detailed than that. This is just a, um, a preview of what it would look like. So it would look like one of the um, HTML emails that you have in designs. Um, so yeah, clean, it looks nice and professional. I'm not sure how much you can customize this. Um, so I believe it will look like this. I don't know if you have control over like the image or the layout. 
I think this is a set template. I don't think, yeah, it doesn't give me the option to choose another one. Um, so right now that's what's there, but I think it looks nice. It's clean, simple. Um, and then you can always um, find these, learn more about client updates. This will take you to answers.kw.com um, and get you rolling on that. So then you would just save changes and it would automatically start up. If for some reason you'd want to stop them, you would just come back in here and turn it off. So, but this is all within the opportunities. So what I did, Jeff, to circle back, um, I just clicked on opportunities here on the left-hand side, which is the handshake. You do have to have a opportunity created in here to access this as far as I know, which I apologize if I'm telling you incorrectly, but that is the only way I know how to find it. Um, I believe this is only client updates or layout. Let me double check. Yeah, so you can also do the client updates settings in your settings as well, which that took me straight there. Um, oh, wait, design template. Yep. Yeah, okay. So it looks like that's the only design template they have right now. But um, so this took me right to um, settings, command settings, client update. So, but that is the only place. So you'll have to have an actual opportunity. If you don't have any opportunities right now, you can create one, like a dummy one, and then just archive it just so you can set this up. So we're going to do, I'm just going to click on one. So I clicked on the cultivate stage. It doesn't matter what or phase. It doesn't matter which phase it's in. Um, then I'm going to click on this opportunity here. And then up here in the right corner is where you would set up the opportunity checklists. So you just click on this and you'd go through each one. The bottom is the stage, the top is the, um, I'm sorry, the bottom is the phase, the top is the stage. And then you would just add the item. You can set due dates, you can turn on client update from here, um, but you would just set that up and then, I can spell and then hit save and that is your step and then you just hit close and it's in there for this opportunity you'll go through and when you check these off as well on this timeline um, it'll show up on there also so you can keep track of it through there you can keep track of it through here and then also the client updates, you can set that up to automatically notify whomever you choose um, on the daily on their progress. You're adding things to check. Uh, do you see an option to say? Let me, Molly, that's a great question. She wanted to know if you can assign that to certain agents. So let me log into my team demo account and see what that looks like. I don't know if I've created an opportunity in here yet, but we will make one. Oh yeah, I do. Perfect. So just to backtrack, I know I'm kind of whizzing through this. This is my team account. I'm in opportunities again. Make sure you're under the team, not yourself. Um, any agents who, who are on a team and create an opportunity under themselves, their personal command versus team command, the team will not be able to see it. So I'm clicking on just one of the opportunity phases. Turn on for your client, do you, these items show up in your task list? That's a good question too, Lisa. She wants to know if those show up in their task list. Um, I'm not 100% on that. I'll have to research that and let you know. Ideally, that would make sense, but not everything always makes sense. So um, this is the team function side. So let's say, let's add it. Yep, you can assign them. So we'll just put little staging services, just something silly. Save. So I'm going to, oops, I don't want to do that. So you can hit assign and then you can choose. 
So you can absolutely, Molly, assign these to specific agents. Um, you can still set the due date. You can add right here to the client update. Um, yeah, so let me, I wonder now that it's in there. So this is what it looks like when it's in the right phase. Let me go to tasks and see if it created a task for me. Switch you, oh, okay. Well, for Teams, it will not because tasks are still in their personal. So let me switch back real quick. I apologize for the back and forth, but I wanna see if I can answer your questions if possible. See if it created any tasks. Okay, let me put one in the active phase that it is in. And then I'll, why did I hit smart plans? And then I'll set a due date and time of today just to see if it'll pop up. Has the issue with reassigning opportunity from personal to team. What do you mean, Jeff? I know you can't transfer them if that's what you're talking about you, you can't take it from personal uh team and the teams be able to see it you, you correct can't. you cannot transfer those opportunities at all so you have to just recreate it if if you have not submitted anything to the market center i would say to archive it and recreate it in the team if you have i would just leave it in your personal because i don't want to create um confusion and then also your Rainmaker can turn off your personal opportunities. So if that's something that's causing an issue in your team, um, they can turn that off. Okay. And how about, how about moving smart plans over? Do we still have to publish them and then? Yeah, the easiest way to do that is publish them and then move them over or pull them from the library and the team. Okay. Um, Thank you. Yeah. Let me save it first. Okay, so we've created that client update. Now let's see if it shows up in the tasks. Mm -hmm. No, doesn't look like it. Oh, oh, might help if I'm in opportunity tasks and not contact tasks. So yes, it does. It does show up. I'm, I'm on the struggle bus today, I apologize. So ideally it should show up on your home screen then because I believe it should filter both contacts and opportunities. So yes, it is right there for you. <laughs> Again, I apologize, I was on the struggle bus <laughs> there for a minute. Um, if personal opportunities is turned off, then would the contact opportunity transfer? No, no, um, Erica, that's a good question as well. Um, for personal opportunities turned off, they will, they don't move at all. That is one thing that they didn't build um, out for that is if you have an open transaction or open opportunity in your personal, I don't recommend having it shut off, the personal opportunity shut off for a team. Um, but if nobody does and you want to, prevent that issue, you can shut it off. Um, it's easy to turn it back on if for some reason you would need it. So it literally takes a couple clicks, but um, okay. yeah, if there are open opportunities in your personal command and you shut them off from a team aspect, they'll just stay in there incomplete. They won't move at all. So are they gonna change that for the team? So like if something is in follow-up boss that it could automatically go into the team or s instead of the personal? Um, in all honesty, probably not. Um, okay. Just because they want everyone in team command. So eventually once everything is built out, the Rainmaker will have the option to turn off personal command altogether. Um, so you won't even be able to access your personal command. Mm -hmm. uh, not yet because it's not completed, obviously. Um, but that is the goal to get there and then to give that option to shut it off. But right now they can shut off the personal opportunities. So 
that way this doesn't happen. Okay. But, but they won't transfer. I'm confused. So if, if the personal one is shut off mm -hmm. and an opportunity is automatically transferred from follow-up boss into command, then where does it go? It doesn't <laughs> or um, I haven't. So you're saying there's an exterior like third party company that's in that imports your opportunities. Yes. Oh, interesting. Um, if it goes into the personal, then no. But I don't know how that works for team or personal. I've never seen that. So maybe we can sit down together and kind of go through that and see what okay. happens. Because you were saying they want everyone in team. So yeah. if everyone is maybe um yeah maybe we need help setting it up a different way than okay. so that everyone is in team or something yeah i've never worked with anything like that so we'll have okay. to play with it and see what happens okay thanks all right do i have that's the majority of what i had to show you i will send everyone this checklist um it is a pdf so everyone should be able to open it i mean it's crazy extensive like let me pull it up real quick Like, it's insane. And this was created by an agent. So it wasn't created by me. So they know what they're talking about <laughs> as far as the inside of a transaction for your side. I mean, it's, it's insane to me. There's two pages per one for listing and one for buyer. So, I mean, it's in detail. And I'm not saying you'll need to do all of this. So don't feel like you have to. But it may help you just cross check what you're already using. And if you don't use command or don't like to use the opportunities for whatever reason, this still gives you an option. Um, you could convert this to a spreadsheet pretty easily. Um, or if you don't use command, you could put it into whatever system you use. So I'm trying to not only focus on command as much as I would love you all to be in it. I understand at the same time. So um, I just want to give you whatever it is to make your lives easier. That's my main goal. So whether it be command or not. So any other questions? I'm going to print my screen again so I have everybody. Rachel, did you say that um, they're also in Facebook? Like in the yes, files? I saved them in the files. Okay. Um, I did it back in... January, I believe. So I think it's on top though. Okay. So yeah, if you um, want to find it there, I'll also email everyone as well. So between the two of them, you should be able to find it. If you haven't seen in Facebook before, like you go to the group, whether it's Cat Partners or Excel, it's in both. Um, you across the top bar, there should be files. If you don't see it, like click the three dot button. Um, then you click on files and then there's a whole list of them and it's called, I had it up here, SSHT, buyer and listing checklist. So that you can look for and it should be again in both market centers, private groups. So under files. So you can also search at the top, like there's the little search magnifying glass. If you click on that and type in SSHT, it should pull it up for you as well because it was a post. So, all right. Well, if any other questions before I hop off? Ms. Quick Molly? question, Rachel. Yeah. You said if you create these checklists on one opportunity that it will automatically carry over to all of the opportunities? It should, yes. Okay, and then so how do the due dates work with that? Um, I don't think the due dates would carry over. I think it's just the actual okay. checklist. I was trying to mess around with it. I might need some help because I'm not okay. seeing it carrying over. Okay, thank you. Okay. Any other questions? All right, well, I'll let everybody go. I hope you have a good day and rest of the week. And I apologize for Tuesday. I had a really, really bad migraine, so I had to cancel, but I will reschedule that, um, that training. So everybody have a good day. Thank you. Thank Welcome. you.
Bye. Thank you.